Okay, Lestranger. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Not Well. I am Bobby. And I'm Jim. And we are here, and we are... I always say that. So still today. legally queer. We're still queer. Queer. For like the moment, we're. we're allowed to be queer. Uh, now, don't mark our words. Like, if again, if the buses pull up... If the buses pull up, I'm or if, if the principal of the school comes down to my classroom, I'm going to pipe down, sit down, be quiet, put my head in the books. I'm going to study, and I'm going to pass the course. Put your head in the books. Uh, no. Starting a bonfire. All I could do was bury my face into the pillows and scream until he finished <laughs> in my ass for the fourth time. He collapsed down on top of me. I was at least happy that he was happy and satisfied. Okay, so it says at the beginning what the supporters of the Don't Say Gay Bill think the they. I can't read it, honestly, just to be fair, like I couldn't see. Do you need me to help? What they are teaching at school. I didn't realize that that was the person that read that. I've heard that voice reading that so many times in other memes. I didn't realize I that's like what they porn, looked like. I think it's like a porn actor. It is. Or like a porn. I'm okay. Sweating like a you look. It's the lights. Yes. Now, it's where's the my Shaw? LED lights. We need to cover you up if this is going to happen. Honey, we need a Shaw. I need a Shaw. I need. What's a Shaw? We talked about last week where you tried to say I was wrong with it, but honey. Honey. I think it's Shaw onion. with an L. Onion. Honey. <laughs> Now, um, what were we doing tonight? So we went to a non-binary birthday party. Don't fuck with me, fellas! And, and we if played I a frisbee game. Say, I swear. We played a frisbee game and we lost. Um, we actually lost. They won. The they's won. Because they cheated. And they, there was and a little cheated. bit of what we call this, this. There was, it was um, a little bit of this where you grab the Frisbee. Grab a little grab. And a little bit of a shove So you're allowed it to like push your partner's Frisbee into the hole. <laughs> a little bit of gluck, gluck going into the hole. Gluck, gluck. And I honestly think there's some home field advantage there. So Well, it was pitch black and Bobby was high, so we couldn't really. We're not going to win. Let's just, you know, we're let's not going to win. Let's just say I went into that. I was like, well, let's just let them win because. That's how it is. That's life. And it's it's their home, and we just wouldn't want to like make them feel bad. Exactly. Literally. They provided us with cake, darts, and and the most amazing snack you'll ever have. Cheddar chips. Ruffles. Ruffles cheddar chips with a uh, ma'am. Everything dip. With everything dip. Uh, ma'am, stop. Now we have June in studio, which might be a mistake. <laughs> I already regretting hey, it. Stop. I think Daddy's home. No. You don't hear him. That little hole. Now, so we had a good time there. We did. We had fun. We met someone. Rick. Now, there was a question of who Rick was. We, it was a mystery all night because Rick had a job. Now, have you ever heard of friends who just talk about someone like, like they're well known? Yes. Oh, well, Rick's coming later. Well, Rick will be here soon. Rick is at a job right now. Rick. Rick. And we're, we're just like, like Rick. Rick. And Rick shut up and Rick was Rick. And that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but like Rick was Rick. Rick. You know, you know Rick when you know Rick. It's a four letter name. So Rick reminds me of somebody who probably. Um... <laughs> now, what was that about not judging? <laughs> Rick reminds me of somebody who might drive a tow truck. Um... <laughs> As his regular car. But like I'm saying, because there's always like a Rick's towing. Like I always think of Rick's plumbing, Rick's towing. Like Rick is such a like worker man name. You know Rick I mean? is like a, a jack of all trades. Yeah, like to be rough honest. hands, rough heart. Rough. And literally like asked for coffee after like 10 minutes of smoking weed. So I was like, I'm not really sure you should smoke weed if you need that much coffee. But anyway, that's besides the point. Totally Hopefully besides. it was a sativa. Um. <laughs> I don't think it was because he was complimenting how great the coffee was and or, oh yeah, he said he had cheap coffee, yeah, cheap like, four dollar Amazon coffee for months. I was yeah. like, why are you not splurging on coffee? It was very interesting <laughs> to say the least. But here we are, and we're better for it. <laughs> Shout out to Seth. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Seth. Um, okay, so we had a non-binary birthday party, and to our listeners, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Look it up because I don't think we were very good at explaining it. But it's actually like a very interesting. Like I'm just gonna get. Oh <laughs> yeah, no! Yeah, it's really can. hard. Uh, I was gonna say, were there not several times where we were like, Shh, 
And she, not right. she. Not she, but it was like, you want to be so respectful and you want to be it's open and like, but it is kind of hard. There's moments where you're like, shit. They. Uh, why is that though? Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Society. Get it. Society. You see the lumps, you see the possible breast, and you're just going, well, well she. It's a shay. Now, if somebody were to ask you, because I got asked this and I didn't know how to answer it. I'm not surprised. Like, when you say, what is a woman? Like, the question that was asked to the senator, but what is your response? What is a woman? Oh, I think a woman is defined by society and changes with time and is more a self-identity than a societal hard yes or no definition. Okay. And I can, yeah, I just think it's a very interesting, um, I'm like, they want, they want you to say a woman is someone with a vagina. That's literally all they want to hear. It's like, they're really upset too about and, and, it's and, like why are you focused on that so i figured do you it, check people's pants all the time honestly some people are that you are, really a man let me see that let me see that fucking dick whip out your dick oh, or you're not a man fuck. and and there are some men that i would do that too just to make sure just they're to men. be honest and just to keep it in check. um yeah i work with some but um you know it's the definition of women like why did that come up in a supreme court hearing we don't know well we do know racism but well, and that's what i said yeah and so that's why that was my answer i said so why are you asking me that because that has nothing to do with the job um there's also some people that are like i'm just speaking from some other folks that i've spoken to and i do work at a place that is full of all kinds of different people Race. Uh, no no because let me tell you let me just say something i think there's a lot of people that are misunderstanding the whole points of everything to be honest with you the i whole don't points of everything <laughs> These politicians, no, excuse me. And our on our YouTube debut, you're gonna act like this. <laughs> Great. There goes one view. I think there's a lot of people that are disrespecting that a lot of things of everything. Well, no, I mean, I just feel like. <laughs> See, now you just <laughs> did it. Oh, politicians are using these. Okay, so I figured it out. Okay. So these politicians are using these. So they know Christians hate LGBTQ people. <laughs> But they're also like these politicians are like the worst people in the entire f-ing world. They so are they're like horrible f-ing people. They're horse. So they're like, how do I get more votes? Oh wait, I can or money, pin, or money. I can pin because the Christians will vote for me if I'm against the LGBT. So, and abortion. And abortion. Don't so, forget abortion. They love. Exactly. They love abortion. So they run on these wedge issues just to get elected. They don't even really f-ing care. Like they're not even. They it's, don't. This is true. So it's like sometimes I think they're whipping up the base. There was something that really freaked me out. Oh. Well, there's, I have a, I like, I have a lot that's happening in my life right now. I hope you know. And I know like I'm talking a lot already and it's not cool, but I just, you're going to do this on our YouTube debut. Trump voters and are still Trump supporters. They go, yeah, you guys are going crazy. So what this he's woman doing, says, what are you so surprised about? He's doing exactly what he said he's going to do. Well, and I think. I think that Listen to this woman. the dangerous you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts, and it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that yeah. is the that is if our you, job. Yeah. If you look at the issues, uh, you hear that? You mean- so Elon Musk is trying to buy Twitter. Oh, we're on that. Okay. I was yeah, like, I'm jumping. Were, I didn't know who you were talking about. So this, this newscast though, accidentally slipped up and said, we're the ones that are supposed to tell them what to think. Now that also stream rolls into the next thing. And I had a moment a lot this week and I've said that like six times, but it really freaked me out. I thought we were talking about Elon Musk. Well, I'm moving on. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm moving I, too fast. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I know. For a, for a second, we now, were talking about wedge issues and politicians. <laughs> then you played a clip about Elon Musk that wasn't about wedge issues, and now you're talking about some other f-ing topic. I'm like, did that apple hit like right now? No, honestly, this apple is actually like kind of has right. rode a wave. Has rode oh the edible has rode away. No, they're gonna see this twitch in my eyebrow right now. Like it is twitching, and I'm sweating. They're gonna like, see my face and know exactly like, oh, how it these feels. Fat f-ing asses. We knew they were so fat and disgusting, and here we are. Like cool. Like it's embarrassing already. But here we are with a. F-ing, I have a whole setup. I wish you guys could see. <laughs> I wish that God could say. Now, 
Okay, so okay. where do I need to go back to? Let's go back to wedge issues and politicians. Right, so they just use us. They use those wedge issues against... It is really sad. Instead of having a conversation, it's just the same shit. I like when we were growing up, what was it about? It was like, you got to watch out for these gays. They're coming for your kids. I literally remember being like, the teachers are going to turn your kids gay when I was a kid. That's literally like 25 years ago. And now we're just, it's the same thing. Don't say gay. You can't talk about gay in school. You can't talk about it because that'll turn the kids gay. But I also think there's a, a real problem with the fact that they think that there's like teachers there being like, that are you grooming. know what gay sex is, right? Right. No. It's they don't called, talk about that. All that these people want to do. It's the straight kids that make fun of us. And they're the ones Can you read telling that? me about. Can you read that? I found this in this. I could have written this. I was called a faggot as soon as I started kindergarten. I learned about anal sex and eating, etc., from straight people making jokes at my expense as a child. So who is grooming whom exactly? A teacher that had a rainbow flag pen? Boom. I learned everything about being gay, gay sex, from being made Dicks, of. vaginas. Dicks, vaginas. Fuck, shit, from other words. children. Not, yeah. I, I was never talked to by an adult about it. I didn't learn how to have gay sex properly until I was in college. I mean, and he then I had to. Like, first oh. Well. We had to bring that up. Gay. We really this had to hard, go there. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. We need it right here. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out a way. We're, we're working through some issues. <laughs> Like, Whoa, girl. Yeah, like it's really hard to read. And I'm not a lefty, so this is not good. And with this camera on you, every time you turn, we get a side tit view and it's not cute. I'm trying to stay like baggy. So I'm like, oh, look, I'm in loose clothes. But it's really my fat f-ing belly. Oh, honey. I'm so sad. I'm like really, I'm really struggling. I really am. I, I can tell. Shower. I was going to I had a question. So we're going through this time and you're like. I just hate everything. And really, you're like, I feel guilty every time I eat. That is a red flag for me. That's a Hi, gay. moment because you can't feel guilty all the time. I do, though. Literally everything I put to my mouth. Every bite. Every every piece of food and every... Oh. No, I'm just... Well, actually, guilt's there, too, because of Catholicism. Thank you. And that's true. So... Everything I eat, though, it's like, it could be even healthy. And then I put, like... Say it's like a salad, and I'm like, I'm going to put just a little ranch. Ranch. I know. It triggers Little ranch. It does. It triggers. You f***ed it up. You're fat. You put too many tablespoons of ranch on, so now it's not a healthy salad. And... I know. Why is that every I shame food? myself. Like, I don't need anybody to call me. I don't need anybody to fat shame me. I fat shame myself. Like, literally, I hate it's my true. I hate my body. I hate. Like, tonight we split a piece of cake at the birthday party. That's all I've had, by the way. I was like, why did I we had, s- Yeah, you had no carrots. food. You had no food. Well, I right. watched you have like 15 chips and dip. And yeah, then and I had some carrots and some half celery. a piece of cake. And you're yeah, like didn't feeling guilty tonight. about the half piece of cake. That's where we're at. Yes. Like, this is bad. I don't know how to fix it. But I don't think that we're the only ones feeling that way. I think I know so many people are I can't eat that. That's not that's bad. That's bad for me. That's not good. Oh, but that's not clean. The word clean, honey. Every time I hear someone saying they're eating clean, that's called shaming. Do you think what's clean? What does that mean? Well, it just means, you know, like good food. Like it has to be organic and it has to be I eat white. And it has to be, you know, I can't eat I'm saying that. I eat white. Yeah. Oh, so you eat white rich mom food. Bitch, I, I, I there's nothing unclean about Doritos, by the way. Well, I mean, let's get honest. But then the, the same person's putting crystal light in their fucking water. It's like exactly. So what is crystal light exactly versus a uh, Dorito powder versus crystal light powder? But you're okay. eating clean. But you're clean. You're you're. F- I, it's all a racket. We've all we've been made to feel so guilty about everything. But didn't wasn't fat in in some cultures? Like why can't oh, that come back forever? So why are we still back when it was hard to be with skinny? It people? used to be so hard to get fat because you couldn't afford food. So I mean, actually, times were tough. Well, so, like, honest with you, you are eating well if you're fat. You are. Well, it's a sign of abundance. But I will say this though: there are a lot of people that eat like really trashy food though, like, and they get fat. There's a difference between like, oh, <laughs> boy, <laughs> here he goes. There's a difference between like super, Whoa, super, girl, f- super, super fat. Oh no! I'm you're just playing say right it. into it. I'm just gonna say it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it. But I have to say it. There's a difference between poor fat and, and and like more money fat. I think I can see what you're you know saying. What I'm saying. I can see what you're saying. It no, sits I, differently. It, it hangs differently. It's different varieties of food. Like, yep. If you have, if you're just like a, a upper middle class fat, you're eating well. You're eating steak. You're eating baked potatoes with it's sour just cream. Too much. It's too much. Right. Your portions are too big. Now, now, if you're the other side, we're doing the KFC family bucket. We're doing KFC family bucket macaroni and cheese. We're doing craft. We're doing five sides. Yep. It's it it's is sad. It, it, it's is that quite... a pandemic in itself? Oh, oh no! Is it a pandemic? 
Okay, so that also Hi, gay. seriously, this is something I want. I can I just read what I wrote? Like it's bad. I'm switching. Are we allowed to switch? <laughs> yeah, we can switch. We didn't really finish, but we can switch. What did we not finish? The politicians. Yes, we did. They're oh, my new conspiracy theory is this. Okay, you have a new one. Great. I can't. No, wait. I saw something that said nobody's listening. It's like don't look up. We have about ten years left. Like legit, people are saying that. Like giving it just ten, 10? Years to turn the fucking shit around, or we're done. And it's major. Tragedy is going to happen. Wow. So then my my ass was like, oh, let me sit in the basement and play PlayStation. I can think of things. Good. And I wrote this. Good strategy. New conspiracy theory. They know the earth has about 10 years left before a catastrophe due to climate change. What if that's why COVID happened? They cut emissions by 20% in 2020. No, just hear me out. Okay. Don't I'm, I'm, not, I'm not yet. What if the government knows... And what if all the world leaders know we need to get to Mars ASAP or our human existence is at stake? Now, <laughs> now how did COVID tie into that? <laughs> so I, I, okay. Yeah, that was a little scattered, but I'll, t- I'll explain. COVID, when, when there was COVID, our emissions went down by 20%. Yeah. Cause no one was traveling. No one was doing anything. Everyone stayed home. Yeah. So is it possible that the world leaders, and I don't know who the world, like, is it Illuminati? I don't even know what the world leaders even mean. So that part. Don't say the Jews. It's Passover. We can't. I don't say it. Don't f*** with me, fellas. Not today. But what if they were like, we got to do something and we can't let people know that this could be a problem because we need to just like get people sick. Is that horrible? Like kill off people. You mean get rid of some? Slow it down. Slow it down. Uh, Okay. Kill off the weak. I know this sounds very like QAnon (laughs) and it sounds very out there, but it's just a moment that I had that I was like, what if like, we don't know if they're doing what they're supposed to do for us. We don't know if they don't know. I don't even know who they is. Well, that's what I'm saying. Government. Government's a mess. What if NASA's like, uh, like, what if they canceled NASA because they knew there's a fucking asteroid out there about to hit us in 20 years? They're like, we oh. can't let this. We're going to defund them because they're going to freak everybody out. And it's not real. Kind of like Don't Look Up, the movie. I feel like that movie impacted you. It did because I do think we're at the end of times. And I know I say this every week and I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, but I just the, the way that things are going, it's it's not looking good for humanity. OK, maybe for humans. But does I that mean, matter? there's like we're on the verge of a nuclear war. We are burning up our planet. Uh, we're ha- oh, I'm getting passionate and you're laughing at me. <laughs> no, no, I'm glad you're passionate. I'm just not worried about that. What here's, are you worried about? Here's the scary thing. I actually don't think there is anyone in charge. And Which so is you're even scarier. You're, yeah, that's why you're worried like, oh, they're going to shut down NASA because NASA has secret info. Who's they? They don't know. There is no they. That's true. The government is so scattered. There is no they. The world leaders can't even come together to stop a ridiculous war in Ukraine. There is literally no horrible. they. Everyone is just out for themselves doing their own shit. And there's no one watching out for us. No one. Our well, elected leaders are, are pawns. Well, just think of like. It's literally just Ew. money. Money interests are paying. Hey, you run for government and we'll give you 20 million to your next election. If We're you all do just this. made, it's all just made up. Everything's just made up. Yeah. I'm not really concerned that there's a giant asteroid coming. And honestly, even if there is, it already happened. What? 65 million years ago. And still there's life on this planet. You know, I don't think it's going to wipe out all of life. Now, uh, it this... might wipe out humans, but well, that's fine. Look what we did. We didn't do anything good. Okay. So get rid of us. It's fine. So that also brings me to another thing I thought about, and I'm just going to tag on this. And then we're going to go to you. Tap it right off. I'm honey. just tagging, babe. Tap my ass. With it. Okay. Okay. So again, TikTok really gets me into a weird place. I'm okay. just going to admit. I saw TikTok and basically it made me question. This is what I wrote. What is space and how did it start? Legit God or Big Bang? How did God or the Big Bang happen if there was nothing before? So think about this. Think about before God, if that's what you believe, and that's cool. Or before the Big Bang, if that's what you believe, that's cool. Right. What was before that? There's no measuring. We can't measure it. Time started with the Big Bang. So that's where we have no, the singularity that it was, we cannot go before it. We cannot. It makes no sense, though, when you really try to think about it, like just really think about what that means, what you're saying. What you're saying is that we had no concept. There is no time before it. But there how was did it no start? Time. 
There was no start. That's what I'm thinking is maybe we're thinking about time wrong. Maybe our human brains have to have a before, a middle, and an end. But that's not how the universe is. There isn't a before. Whoa. So we had, maybe there was a singularity and it's constantly a big bang, a collapse, a big bang, a collapse. We have no idea. We can't see before the big bang. Time doesn't go back before it. We can see to the point of, or we can see within a hundred thousand years of the big bang, but we can't measure before. So we know there was an event. And then at that point, everything's spread really out. Go, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but what event where? The, the great expansion, all the heat energy, all the energy of the universe expanding. But where, what is the universe? How did that start? Right. That's where it I'm, was a singularity. It was like a dot. It was all of matter compressed into the tiniest of things. So small. We don't even understand how it was together. Think about what you're saying. Yeah. Does it not freak you the f- out to think like literally? No, I think that's we're amazing. From nothing. Like, yeah. So I'm saying like. To be here, sitting here under lights with a camera and about to be on YouTube. Okay? We should see the lights above us. That's where you're like, wow, all of this, all of this was from a dot. But that's what I'm saying. Like the smallest of things that we can't we even see. We have technology where we like have a phone and we can communicate with people. Mm. It's so unheard of. If you really think from the very beginning of everything, you were you're you talking were like nearly 14 billion years ago. Before the Big Bang, before God. 13.6 billion years ago. Which is that even accurate? Like, how do you know? Because they go, well, because I can look back in time. I don't get it. You look for the farthest thing away from you and see how long it took, takes light to travel that far. And then you can say, that's how long ago that was near you. Because you're like, well, light from that far came. Okay. Maybe I need to explain about what the Big Bang is. So that means everything banged and everything exploded out. Yeah. We stayed so it started at. as this and everything is expanding. The whole universe so, has so been expanding. So we're counting. We're going, okay, that's 100,000 light years away. So when the Big Bang happened, that was 100,000 years ago. Yeah. The light that we see from there is from 100,000 years ago. Yeah. Does that not trip you out? No. So you can't see a light for a billion years. Yeah. Even when you look at the sun, what is it? Okay. It's like f- five minutes behind. Like what the light that you see, this actually was something I was going to bring up. Good. That's the th- that's the interesting thing. So when we see something, it's in the past. It's not something that's happening right now. You see it happen. No, it took, it took time for that light to get to your eyes, for your eyes to send the signal, the neuro signal to your brain and for your brain to go, oh, look at what just happened. That's in the past. What you're seeing and what your brain is processing already occurred. Well, and that's what makes me think like sometimes life in itself is all you're in the you're li- you're watching yourself. We are. Like, We're living in the past and right. our, everything our is everything's in the past. Everything's happened. Yeah. <laughs> like can't. it was pretty recent, but like you feeling that that was in the past. You right. know, I'm not touching you. Right. right. I can't. I'm not touching you right now. No, I can anticipate the future. You might go. You're touching me now. No, I'm not. No, that was in the past. That was in the past. You feel it now, but that was in the past. That signal took time to go from your arm up to your brain and process to say, oh, right here, he's touching me. That was in the past. That was in the past. That was in the past. That's so weird to me. Okay. I feel like I know that we talk about science a lot. I know it's probably not everybody's favorite topic, but but it's crazy that we're living in the past. (sighs) And that's kind of how I feel like with our emotions. So maybe time isn't really real. Like maybe time is something that's like we don't understand. Like you said, there's no. Like maybe we don't, maybe there isn't a past, present and future. Maybe it is what it is. We just think there's a past, present and future. And maybe there is like a way to gauge it. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, honey. I think it's true. Honey. Where's my edible? Like, I don't think it's as linear as we think it is. Right. And it's just like how we experience life too. We go through phases and we relive things from our past as we get older. And all of life is like that. Like but as you get older, is... you're becoming more like a child and you need to be taken but you care also, of again. I noticed reflect a lot in the past yeah. to base your future. Our earliest memories have so much importance in our lives. They have so much impact over how we are and how we act. Right. Right. How you were treated as a kid, how you felt as a kid. You always think that you're even talking about it. You're like, well, my dad didn't do this with me, blah, 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 blah. And my mom, blah, 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 blah. And that has shaped so much of your life. Right. Like I just I those that... first five years. What about the first five years of the universe? How much I've did been that impact out of this? my house longer than I've been that I lived the same amount that I've lived in my house. And yet I'm still focused you're still on that. in. Yeah, exactly. We all are. We all do that. That's how our so brains is are. I'm actually like a sign of growth, like of growth or like. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you were trying so hard to make me feel smart. You're like, hmm. <laughs> it was like, yes, this is, mm. time, is a, time is a sign of so, growth. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Now. Oh, okay. Now, here's what I'm a little worried about. And I think about this a lot. Okay. You know how when we collectively, we. We look back. You? What? The human race or me and you? Human race. Okay. So like the human race is like, here's who we put in the museum because this was a great artist. Michelangelo. Oh. Okay. Raphael. Uh, ma'am. Da Vinci. Okay. And. Bingo. Van Gogh. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Thank you. Rest in peace. And. Okay. So we've all like decided like these people were geniuses. They were great. Okay. And I would say, like, most people would say yes, right? Correct. Like, probably 99% of people are like, that is a good artist. And I'm trying to figure out, in, like, 50 to 100 years, who the hell are we going to pick from this f***ing generation as the great geniuses artist of our time? Now, you're asking one of the greatest of our time how we're going to make it into the future. Hi, Gay. Um, <laughs> Whoa, girl, f- that's uh, a whoa, girl. Yeah. F- um, I'm really just trying to figure out. I'm like, I don't so, think we know. Well, here's what happened is I was driving around. I wasn't really worried about who we pick. I was more worried about how the hell are we going to agree on anything? I don't think we pick because they well, pick. Oh, no. I knew you were going to say the that. <laughs> the like, government puts everybody in the what if, Hall of Fame. What if they pick? <laughs> I'm like, who's they? I don't them. know them. They? They, them. And <laughs> I mean, that's being proper. I just I'm like, I, we can't even agree on anything. Like, it's literally always like 50% believe this, 50% disagree. And then it's like, how in a hundred years are we going to look back at this time and be like, you know what? One Direction was a really great group. They were a really great boy band. I think you'll have people like Whitney Houston. Okay. I think you'll have people like Adele. Okay. Who most people... Lady Gaga. However, a lot of conservatives I'm, of like hate the gay them. icons, um, right? Because you're gay. But I'm telling okay. you, like conservatives hate Pat them. Robertson. Well, the conservative, the Christian like, 700 Club guy. Yeah, like he could he, go down in like a little bit of a history book. Hopefully, in hell. I, I say where who's gonna go. I hope it's with where he thinks he's going. Because honey, he's in for a rude awakening. He is or he's I hope, not waking at all. I hope he goes to hell and gets butt f- daily. And I wouldn't call it because he, he doesn't have to go to hell. Probably for that. Seek he probably has taken so many f- in his life and he's like, Yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta cut the gays. Honestly. Most of them that are most of them that shout from the rooftops are the ones that have taken a f- and then they feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. It's and a those common, are actually murderers too. They're like it's murder a common the person theme. then because they're like so embarrassed for some reason because they're speaking of, I had a little run in with a straight man this week. Hi, gay. Gay. So, no, girl, fuck. I just need to figure out the right. I went to darts as one does on a Wednesday, and I'm at the local watering hole playing darts. And I look outside the window, and there's this really cute guy riding by on a bicycle. And someone Straight. else who plays darts that I am also attracted to, so it's a complicated issue. But <laughs> who am I not? I, I um, feel like there's a lot. I mean, a lot of that I'm attracted to. Yeah, yeah it's. I don't. I think it's an illness. Um. So they, Adam. Adam was like looking out at the street and was like, "Who's that hot straight guy?" And I was like, "I don't know." So did you take it upon yourself to go? Fuck well, he, Adam said, "I wish he would come in here," and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I said, "Hold my beer." So I no, I go outside. I open the door. I walk Hold outside. Hold my beer. Yeah, hold my beer. Hold my beer, I'll be right back. No, so I went outside, I started talking to him, I brought him inside. Um, to the local gay watering hole. Yep, I said, oh, are you looking for a bar? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. Well, this, this we place... We know he was straight, though. Yeah, he's oh. married to a woman. Uh, he goes, right, exactly. He goes, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just looking for a bar. I'm like, well, we have cheap drinks here. And I brought him in. Everyone was in shock that I'm talking to a straight guy. Uh, yeah, question? Do you have a question? Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to figure out who goes out on a... And Wednesday night riding their bike and like, I'm just looking for a bar. Well, I can explain. Okay. So Eric, um, he travels with the John Deere company Okay. and he does analytics for weeds so that machines can identify weeds better than humans can oh, wow. in the fields, in the cornfields. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So he's recently, he's it's up tech. in Cleveland area. He went to Cincinnati and then he's in, right now he's in Columbus. So he's staying in a hotel in Columbus. So we get his number. 
I have his Instagram and I tell yes, I have all of it. Can we just like see if he'll like let us look at his wiener. Well, you let me finish my story. Okay. Um, so I bring him in. Everyone's in shock. We get a drink. I buy him a drink, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, things are going well, I would say. He's my dart partner. We play, so a, few, like, we play a few rounds. You're getting to know each other. We're you're getting, talking. We're getting to know each other. I, you know, I hear all about his life. I love it. He's, you tell your life. You show him how to throw a dart. I think he's a bottom. He's got a tight little ass. And he rides bikes. And, and he, a BMX bike, too. Like, one of, you know, one oh, of those whoa. straight guys. So he's like California? Yeah, totally. Like a hippie. But, he lived in an RV in Colorado. That type of guy. Oh. I'm okay. Cut. So at the end, he's like, oh, you know, he's like a little drunk. He's like, I'm just sorry for like... I hope I didn't lead you on, man. My wife's not here. If she were here, it'd be different. Whoa, girl. <laughs> we got to move our fucking soundboard, but I looked at, I was like, if your wife were here, it would be different. You know, I'm like, I thought if she, cause she's not here, it will be different. This is getting. Like- so basically I didn't hook up with him because I felt guilty. Cause he was saying like, if his wife were here, he would have permission to hook up with me. So we couldn't do a text message. Isn't or does that weird? she want to be involved in something like maybe watch? I think she does. She's a nurse. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> uh, yeah. she likes to Hi, watch Jay. and take blood. I mean, like I literally I'm like, check my vitals. I'm not sure. But like <laughs> check my <laughs> vitals. Basically, he told me his hotel room and number. No way. Yeah. He's like he was staying right no. down the street. I'm really sorry. Yeah. I did just burp. It's that meat stick that I was eating. You've had too many meat sticks in your night. Oh, wow. That's so I'm really sorry. I'll work on it now. So, yeah. So, so I didn't talk up with him since. Him. Um, yes. When? <laughs> Today? Yep. Someone's going to the Hilton after this. <laughs> it was a Sheridan Inn. So he's not, you know, you know, the company's putting him up. It's not. Yeah, it's like, he's not affording l- this. L- like middle, middle class. Low middle class. And I am not Shares above not low, low middle class is like, honestly, right I up my, love up my a good, alley. Best, a good best Western. We can all. Oh my, we always learn. did best Western growing up. I did it one time in Mississippi. <laughs> I went to the baseball world series in Mississippi <laughs> for high school. No, um, I was in eighth grade. The little league world series. Oh, that sounds like a trap. Bunch of straight people. Yeah, that's a trap. And I do remember a weird situation that happened to me, and I know that this isn't about me, but I just thought of something really weird. Were you helping me? Wait, what? (laughs) Oh, this is so bad. (laughs) So, we went to the baseball thing, and so I I always played my age group. So, I was younger. In school. So, like, every grade I was at, I was, like, the year before. Like, I should have been a, a year below. Makes oh. sense. So, when I was playing my age group in travel baseball, I was playing with 14-year-olds, even though I was in class with 15-year-olds. Does that make sense? So, like, so they were all in eighth grade. I was in ninth grade or whatever it was. At the okay. Time. Okay. So, I remember we go to this Best Western. It was me and my mom. My dad didn't go. My sister didn't go. We went there. And my friend Diane is also the sister of somebody who plays on the team. And she brought her boyfriend. Okay. And this is before, this is like right before you figure out like what pussies and dicks do, kind of. Like, you know, but like, oh God, you fingered her. Like, that's like a big thing. You didn't know. Yeah. He, so her boyfriend was there. How old is Diane? She was my age. She was older than me almost by a year. Okay. So I hung out with them, not my baseball team, because they were like my grade. So I was like, oh, let's go hang on the hotel while everybody's at the pool. He literally fingered her underneath the blanket right next to me. We were laying in the hotel. And I don't know why that's sparking my fucking... (gasps) Wait, do you remember like what was happening? Were you laying there like... Did you know it was happening? She was... No, not really. (gasps) But he was like doing it on purpose and she was giggling like... (laughs) Stop! Oh, like in a good way, like not a stop in a bad way, but like yeah, like oh my god! And I was don't like, do it right now. And then he later said to me, "I was fingering her," and I'm like, "Ew!" First of all, so they were only a year older than you, yeah. And you were just like, right? So also, I'm a young closeted gay person that's like trying to feel like he likes, pussy, but he definitely doesn't like. Pussy. Yeah, but you like the idea of a straight guy getting excited, but and that's that was, all that matters. Oh, and that's what because was, trust me, I went on a little manatee trip. In Florida. Now, is that, is that um, <laughs> slang for f***ing fat people? No, I literally went to the Crystal River Did to, you go swim to a bear with, party? I swam with manatees. You fucking would. And I like, this was when you were allowed to pet them still at the sp- hot springs, the natural springs. 
so I'm like snorkeling with manatees and they're all Sounds around horrifying. me. So we have to go back to our hotel room. And it's we no wonder you like me. It's because I'm big. You like to be next to a big. I person. love manatees. I'm looking right at you, babe. And I'm in the hotel room alone with this other guy because he was on the trip, a straight guy. And we're like laying back in the bed and he's like, being cool. He goes, yeah, man, I really need to jerk off. I was like, oh, because I didn't really jerk off at all then. But and I'm like, you knew what it was, but you were like, but I didn't really... know what it, I didn't know what it was. I know I actually didn't. Did I ever you tell you about the first time I jerked off? You didn't even know you were in the shower washing yourself. No, I anyways. So this guy, I'll Lube tell you, hands. it's later. It's scary. Um, so this guy's like, I need to jerk off. I was like, oh, okay. And we're like watching TVs, like, see if you can find like a porn channel. And I'm like, typical middle school. And behavior. I was like, my, were you scared? My mom's on this trip, like in another room, obviously. But I was like, I can't really like be the one, be the kid on the trip who charges <laughs> a porn video to the hotel room. And then the hotel is like, yeah, there's a 999 charge on this room. For... It was an accident. I thought it was. Yeah. I was like, no, I don't think I can find that channel. And he's like searching. And he, we found like though. Spice channel. We like did a find scrambled. a channel, a scrambled channel. I know you did that too, right? Oh, would speaking fully... of, I used to find scrambled channels and I would watch them and get bits, 30 second bits. Some of the time, sometimes you would, you could oh, get a really, you'd be like, you'd be like, like, oh my God, they're fucking. And you would think, so then you would wait another 30 minutes for that moment yep. again. Like, and it wouldn't come. But you're watching come. the scramble. And you're, you're waiting like, for that scramble. You're like hard. You're like, oh, scramble again, scramble Jerk again. Off, scramble. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This is like. I saw a d- and, and so then, he starts like doing stuff over the blanket, touching his crotch. And I'm just like. Looking did you at, stare? Or I did, you? Oh, I stared at him. Did and he, he knew it. And he, he was just giggling. Of course. Because straight guys. He like was showing off. off. Straight guys always want to show off. They don't even care. But yeah, that's yeah, fine. So Show you had a little money. fingering. I had a little rubbing. But it's like awkward when you're the gay kid because you're kind of like, you're like, oh, you I'm not supposed to like this. Yeah, like I'm not, I don't like this, but I'm supposed to, I'm supposed but, to like this. So now I've got to, so in my case, I had to be like, oh yeah, bro. In your case, you had to be like, oh yeah, bro. It's cool. I like, got to jerk off no too. Yeah. yeah like, like we just got to jerk off. So I was actually talking to my coworkers about this today. Like it's so f-ed up. Growing well, up gay is terrible. It really is. And it goes back to the don't say gay bill, but it's like, I don't. Trust me, like, I'm not trying to convert your child. First no. of all, I f-ing hate your kids. Again, we've already talked about this, but we don't need to hear about your kids ever. But like, we're not trying to convert your child. I would never do that to your child to to have them go through what I had to go through. Never. never. I would never wish it upon anyone. Ne- even my enemy. Honestly. It was the most. I know everyone's like, growing up is awkward. Oh, Teenage cool. years are awkward. Yeah. I'm like, it wasn't awkward. It was self-hating. It was deprecating. It was. Try to walk into a room in every classroom or try to walk into a classroom and avoid the conversations of anything sexual anything that could anything that could bring up the word gay f- it, or anything like that so you would prance around you would prance around all around trying to avoid all these not prance because that's really f- gay but you would briskly walk around all these situations i just i'm sorry i just blacked out and i also want to say something i had it happen to me today so i was having a conversation with two of my coworkers, and i said look like when I was in high school and when I was in middle school, like I um, always had to avoid any conversation about anything. You're like constantly running from everything when you're a closeted gay person. And it's horrible. It's a worse feeling to feel like you're constantly like hiding. So somebody comes in the room, another coworker, totally a different brand, like a different section of the coworker. So like more of a he walks in and goes to the other guy that I was just talking to. Oh man, you switched teams, didn't you? Oh man, da 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 da. And I immediately, immediately went into survival mode and was like, Haha, uh, okay, so Colleen, what do you need? And oh, so what do you like? I mean, I literally like had to change the subject and it put me, as I was telling the story about high school, this happened. So then the guy leaves and I go, that right there is what I've had to do with my whole entire life. And I don't want the kids of tomorrow to ever feel that way whoa girl that is so sad horrible so you panicked because you were like oh this guy is just calling me out for being gay well and i and i don't know what to say well and so it wasn't even he wasn't even calling me out he was calling out kevin but then i was like yeah i don't know if he knows that i'm gay i don't want to have this conversation why did he right say now. he switched team why did he say that to um, kevin kevin was trying to like talk about he wanted to date again and mm. he said something like this and and kevin was like well, we're getting worried but the other kevin, so he's making a joke about kevin being gay yeah basically like, oh we and then you're like he you're doesn't know that i am and, uh, exactly i see what you mean yeah no that's pretty much america 
but they don't but a lot of straight people don't understand that fear that feeling of like in my heart of hearts and in my soul like i am so f-ing scared of having uh, any out conversation in. yeah that i yeah. will avoid so how many conversations did i avoid all of how them. many conversations did i miss how many times did i miss out because i was trying to I avoid ended multiple friendships in high school Correct. because they asked me point blank are you so gay? are you gay yep and then i never talked to that person again because i knew they might tell other people right. and then other people would make my life more miserable than it already was and so I just stopped talking to people. It's horrible. You shut down. And that's why it's like, if you can't even hear about this or you can't go to a teacher and ask a question like, oh, so there are gay people out there. Or, or like, a teacher has a partner that is the yeah. same sex. So like, oh, I'm sorry. They can't and openly say like, yeah, me I have my a girl. Went to, yeah. Speaking of geography, me and my partner went to Machu Picchu or whatever the f*** it's called. Is that what it's called? Honey, have you seen how narrow those steps are? You can't climb Machu oh, Picchu. Oh, I'm not going to Machu Picchu. I was like, bitch. Honey, I'll be up there. Like, I mean, I could barely do Zion. It's a hike. <laughs> It's a hike. No, I'm not doing that. But yeah, I get what you're saying. And like, we can't let the children of today suffer Feel like we way. did. It's so inappropriate. And I know it's like, oh, it's so dramatic. Suffer. I mean, I literally can no, tell it you is every suffer. day. It's to still school, to this day. You experienced it today. Me. I experienced it today. And I said, oh my God, like, this is like. That's how I feel when I go to Florida. There's certain parts, there's certain restaurants and places in, in certain states where I walk in and I'm like, oh, f*** this place. And like, you know, they're just these like, people are all the same. As literally how I grew up, it's Which exact so same. Boring. We escaped it, thank God. Mm-hmm. But, but then there's have, still places where we yeah, exist. We still live in, but then we live in Ohio, where it's like we're not that great of a st- like we're like no, North, it's only right? cer- it's certain parts of Columbus that are okay. Columbus is a very press and then city you go to other right cities, outside. But, yeah, you, you go literally go 20 minutes outside. Now, would you say Delaware? Nope, closer. not good. Delaware's terrible. What about Powell? Awful. Now, I think I know some Powell people that are that are open. Minded, but I mean that's where the line is for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean it's really sad. No, it's, it's really very sad. Up. I I would say, and this my friend said this to me this past week. She said it was Sabrine. Sabrine said, "I am proud of you for just existing in this climate. It must be tiring every day to wake up of to news that yet another state has deemed your existence offensive." Because every day we wake up and yet another state is passing legislation and saying, kids. we've got to protect the children. We were the children. We 20, the years, children. 20 years ago, we were the children and we could not exist safely. And they are outlawing any mention of our existence now. It's, it's horrible. So I just, I don't know. I don't know where we're headed. I don't know if we actually even know where we're headed because I don't know what you're looking for. I'm just I was I was like okay here's what I'm looking <laughs> in life for. or on your phone. Excuse me. Whenever always... you whip up your phone, I'm like what an absolutely gorgeous day to be fat and gay. I just always have clips all week, but there was a clip I wanted to play that you actually liked as well, but I can't. I'm trying to find it. It's the one with the guy who said, "Why didn't you tell your?" Oh, okay. I travel a lot. I'm Arizona. I was just in Arizona. This is funny. It's and weird there it's people that are like we're rich it's like you don't even live near a body of water i don't i don't i it's hot and i think she farted truly rich okay <laughs> republicans who can't afford a boat will always confuse me <laughs> <laughs> this is it wanted to tell you that he was gay didn't he um he was uh expressing that to the family and he thought that uh, that we would hold that against him and not let my children be around him why do you think he thought that I, I don't know. I, it uh, it never would have happened. I'll tell trying you to pass a bill against them. My uh, my my kids at that that point in their life adored my uh, my brother. Can I tell you if I were your brother, I would have been afraid to tell you too. Well, I'm sorry. I would have been afraid to tell you too because of stuff like this. Because this is what you're focused on. This is the legislation you want to put forward. This is what consumes your time. I would have been afraid to tell you too. I was afraid of people like you growing up, and I grew up in Hickory County, Missouri. I grew up in a school district that would vote tomorrow to put this in place. And for 18 years, I walked around with nice people like you who took me to ball games, who told me how smart I was, and who went to the ballot and voted for crap like this. And I couldn't wait to get out. I couldn't wait to move to a part of our state that would reject this stuff in a minute. I couldn't wait. And thank God I made it. 
Thank God I made it out. And I think every day of the kids who are still there, who haven't made it out, who haven't escaped from this kind of bigotry. Gentlemen, I'm not afraid of you anymore because you're going to lose. You may win this today, but you're going to lose. I hope I'm not misquoting, but the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. It's true. That's what he means. Right. You might he lose right today. Now, right now. Okay, so you pass this today. You will not win this. We're back. still winning. And I, the majority of the people you meet today, how do they really feel? Are they really uncomfortable around gay people? Not really. I think, honestly, and this is just the truth of the matter, and from me talking to people who are in that camp, um, they're scared of trans people and they're scared they of are. non-binary. They, they are. They don't know how to. Because they don't understand it yet. And I get it. And like, I, and in a way, I'm like, okay, like, the only, like, I try to explain in the way that, like, okay, so let me explain. Because like, they like me as a person. Yes. So then I try to explain to them in That's my what shoes. Yeah. So you like me. I had to come in here and at first I didn't tell anybody about my personal life and everybody had got to talk about their husbands and wives and all the shit they were doing. But I was scared to talk about anything personal. It took me like seven or eight. It took me to COVID, which was my like eighth year in Columbus to finally be like, uh, I probably should work from home because I'm with a healthcare worker. Um, my partner and I like lived together. I had to like finally out myself during a f-ing pandemic. But how sad is that? That that's what I have to deal with. And you know what I mean? Right. And think of how much harder it might be for those people. And right. And so because we've now had representation, we're allowed to have marriage equality. We are we are on TV. There are gay people on TV and movies like being gay now. It's seen every June. Companies pretend to be pro gay, pro LGBTQ. Oh, wait till June. They're not really. Speaking of, we have a new pride shirt coming out. We say gay. Love it. Can't wait. But for trans and non-binary people, like that is not, they're not represented yet. They're not, there aren't characters on shows or movies. You don't see them in things where you're like, oh, that's a trans person. They're all around. We literally just went to a party tonight. Right. How many people were we like, oh, okay. But I was talking. Everybody there was very respectful about gender. Did you notice that they were calling me they? Yeah. It was very interesting because if we don't make it clear, it's like, oh, OK, well, we'll just be safe. We'll just be we'll just call you that because you are a person. I don't want to. It's really I'm not going to assume. I'm I, not going to assume. It is simpler in that way that you're like, well, if we all just don't assume, if we all just don't give a f- once we get to know each other, then we know and we're like, oh, cool. OK, I've I've I know about you now. It is. It's like getting to know somebody new. It's a new it's a new thing. And it's but that's not why people scary. are uncomfortable now. But I think my whole philosophy is literally if you are open to learning, we have no beef. Right. I and agree. I'm vegetarian, but like we have no beef, no fake beef, no fake beef either. Or real. Well, I have my coworker that I have these conversations with all the time. And today he shook my hand and said, Aww. and he actually called me after and said, I don't want you to feel like. Because we had a very, very extensive conversation. We were supposed to leave early. We yeah. were talking for like an hour about this exact situation and how he feels and how he feels it's written. And so I'm going to do my research this weekend. And I'm going to actually read the don't say gay bill. Like I'm going to read the bill because that's what he said. Like read the bill. I've read it. Okay. And that. Yeah. So, you know, you'll read it and it's literally what you think. Right. And so and I don't think he's read it, really. And that's what makes me think. I'm like, I go, you're just spitting to me like media stuff. But yet I'm spitting the same. We always end up coming back to the middle, though, and saying, but it's all f-ed up. It's all just for this or this. It's always all about a political gain. It's never about the real issue. The issue is nobody gives a f- about in politics. Like all the politicians care about is striking your fancy and your interest to vote for them. So they're going to say or do whatever they need to. The right is framing it as how do we parents rights because we're coming off COVID Mm -hmm. when the parents felt so slighted because no one would let their kids go to school and they had to wear masks at school and they had to find babysitters for their kids because they couldn't go to school. So parents feel like their rights were taken away. So the right is now going, well, this is about parents rights. We're trying to make sure that you have control over what your parent, your children learn in school. You're the parents. You should be able to teach your children about sexuality at home, not the teachers, not the schools, because everyone right now is still pissed off at schools from COVID. OK, so this is how they frame it. They frame it as right. this is a, this so bill which, is about again, parents it's, rights. It's not about gay or straight. It's about parents rights. 
It's literally, it's how you frame things. It's but, always but deep down, it is literally about let's not talk about LGBTQ people because they're scary and weird and we don't know anything about them and they might be grooming your children, which is an old trope from the 70s that gay people are trying to turn your children gay. That's the only way gay people are coming into existence. I was raised fully straight. I'm like, I was, I've been raised straight. Uh, no one ever, groom, no one ever groomed me. Yeah. Trust me, if I was being groomed, it was to be groomed straight and it didn't work. It failed. So like, that theory is I watch out. straight couples on TV shows, on movies, my family, my aunts, my uncles, cousins, friends. Everyone was straight around me. And yet I didn't turn out that way. Right. So, so it's like, so it what's the real? Yeah. Like, so no one's grooming your kids. My aunt actually posted something and I was like, oh, my God. She it was a quote and it says kids are. Kids are who they are. Teaching them about queer people doesn't make them queer. Teaching them about straight people doesn't make them straight. And that literally is the, as simple as it gets. Like, trust me, I'd be, I would be straight. Again, we had this conversation last week. Like, yeah. it'd be so e- much easier if I'm a it white would be straight male. So much easier if we were straight. Throwing a little fake Christianity in there, and honey, I'm sad. You'd be president of the United States. I'd like, literally, like, it would be but so easy. because I like dicks, I will not be president of the United States because nobody will take me seriously because... He's a queer. Oh, because I maybe have a little bit of a feminine side. Or, oh, because I have dicks in my mouth. Okay, well... Oh, sick. Sick. Hi, gang. Now, any housekeeping we need to do? We're going to Austin next week. Oh, and happy Easter to everyone. He's risen. Hallelujah. I'm not done. Oh? We still have some things... Because we're gonna have to cut some shit because we went on and on about the gay stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, like but when you listen, real. when you listen back to this, you're like, gonna be like, up. "Oh Jesus, they really." No, but I feel rambled. very passionate about it, though. I do too, and I think that's appropriate. And also, maybe it'll be like a side cut. Maybe we'll do like on a side. Well, cut. and no, in some of the space shit we're gonna have to cut too. We went on about time, but anyways, really, but that was good. Remember, it was good too. We're gonna have a moment. Member, member. No. So, as. Our people know. I do have a stepson who is turning 17 next month. Don't. What is that about? I don't know. Just like having a stepson makes me want to fucking like, it makes my vagina snap like a steel trap. Oh, mine still does on the daily. But he had, he's in track. Now he had, and actually my stepson was on the show a while back. Uh, he was but the show with Michael that D. Was, Burke. That was the past. Michael D. Burke, and that was in, that was in the past, that was and that was in the past. And when I sucked your, d- that was in the past. past. So my stepson had a track coach named Scotty. Now, no. Scotty moved away because Scotty. Scotty was a track coach in high school. Now Scotty moved away and lives in Chicago now. Um, Scotty's on Twitter. Okay. Alt Twitter or regular Twitter? Regular Twitter. Okay. Interesting. Now, I follow people that you recommended from local gay Columbus Twitter. God, I have so many gays from Columbus. Yeah. I see their dicks every day. And then, exactly. And then I started following some people in Chicago just for fun. Like, oh, I, I recognize, okay, that person knows this person in Columbus. So I'm going to follow, follow, follow. Today, I log into Twitter. Oh, no. I found Scotty's alt Twitter. Yeah. Is it? So, I found my stepson's ex-coach. Ex-coach's track coach his alt twitter so i found a track coach's alt twitter now did you always know that do we know he was a gay or do we know he's a straight or what do you know what is this unclear when i first met him clear until now and now i know and it's straight baiting so it's full gay whole every whole everywhere Do all over the like alt twitter pose, like uh, the one thing that I there hate are so many different poses i'm like looking and i'm like, like oh the one my where god they get on their knees and look back a little bit i'm like girl like no one's whoa, fooled girl, by that fuck, like that's not how i'm gonna fuck you like you're gonna be on the bed you're face gonna be down pancake flat right like literally that ass is not perking no. up like that sweetheart you're not gonna be on your knees looking backwards like, like no oh, i'm gonna be more like no i'm gonna push you down i don't me. i don't want to hear you but yeah, I cannot believe it. When I found it, you know how you like log in and you're mm-hmm. like, do, 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 do. And then so you're like, how did you I know, know that face. Hit? Oh, the face. I knew the face immediately. I saw the face and I was so like. So he shows his face on his alt? On his alt. He shows okay, his face. Wow. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. That, Which that is makes bold sense. and brave in the brave new world. I think the Gen Z's are doing that. Gen Z is more bold. Like, the Zoomers are like face, dick, whatever. 
Well, and I noticed they like, are. for the millennials, though, there's always like markings. So, like, honey, I look, when you're jacking off your dick and I can see your tattoo that I know. That I, I always see. look for the tattoos. I'm like, oh, Babe, so that's, that's the tattoo. You, so it's you jerking You're like, off. oh, wow. And then you're always like surprised because you didn't expect that to be for People that. People think their alt Twitters are like hidden. I've I've discovered every alt Twitter person. All I got to do is go to Union and I yep. see all of you in front of me. And then yep. I just go on Twitter and you're all posting your hole in the bathroom. And it's like, we get it. Did I tell you about the hole in the bathroom? Oh, no. No, I, I did tell you. I forgot I already told a story. Oh, you already told the same exact story. Yeah. Straight guy union. Yeah, because we were like talking about union. Another straight guy. A different one, yeah. You're all about the straights. We saw a straight tonight, but it wasn't. Uh, I'm, I'm I do. And that's an illness that I have. I do have an illness. Um, What's your illness, though? Like, see, like it's an there. illness. So, you know how straight we were artists. used and abused by straight guys? Well, it makes us want it more. It kind of makes us want them because we want to be loved by a straight man. We really just want to be loved by a man. But our idea of masculinity is tied to heterosexuality. And so we look for love from a straight man because a gay man can't provide because a gay man is not man enough to us because we were taught a gay man isn't a man. And that's our that is (sighs) our that's our conundrum. And that was in the past. Past. That was in the past. Past. That was in the past. Past. And you are passed away right now. Um, Oh, girl. Now, the. Do we have sun? Do we have sundries? What does that mean? Oh, a little wrap up. Do we have sundries? No, I did write one thing down. I'm just going to get clear the air in a real way. So um, we went to this campfire tonight and we stink like fucking campfire. It was right? all disgusting. Right. So Sick. did you know, and I was talking about this, we were talking about smells this week as well at work. Oh no. Smells are very interesting. Like for one, and I think you'll know the answer to this and I need you to like, let me know why. Cause you're like into that kind of shit. Why does smell make us gag? What? So why why do you think that when you smell something gross that it makes you gag? Now probably. Now what is that like reflex? Like why? I don't know the name of that reflex, but evolutionarily. <gasps> I think I know why. You tell me why. Because if it smells bad, it's probably not good for you. Yeah. So it's your body Literally. telling you no. If something is rotten, normally it's not going to be good for us if we eat it. So it's basically so our body, it's our body saying, us, don't eat that. Why would oh you? Why would you? God. Oh, that rotten milk. That's going to poison you. Don't eat that. It's bacteria that you so don't it want. It makes you do that. That involuntary. Cause it's like, so you you're going to be it. doing this. Right. Oh my God. That is really over crazy. time. It's like, wait, the Makes people sense. who don't eat this nasty shit survive longer and have more right. evolution. Right. Evolution. I think so. I think that's it. So, because back in the day, we didn't have refrigeration. Like there was a lot of rotten shit around. Like we're not vul- bodies. Like, we're not vultures. Like we can't just eat anything. So like true. humans have to go and be like, oh, fresh meat. Okay, I can eat that. But if it's a few days old, like you're gonna get sick. You might die. You get a. You get. I mean, you get an infection back then. Oh, you're dead. You get stink. That's it. You stink when you have an infection. No, you die. Well, you die and then you stink. Now, now to to tie that all in a bow. I also learned that Ow. a bride used to carry flowers for what reason? No, next player. Why would a bride carry flowers? Most likely because of body odor. Yeah. I mean, you think back then there's no deodorant. People couldn't take a bath People every day. People stunk. That's what the veil was for as well, for the pox marks. People always had measles, mumps. Rebellia. People had all of these viral infections where they get pox marks, like chicken pox. You had... Your skin looked terrible back then. Acne, all that. We didn't, no one washed. So the bride would come with a veil so that the, the man wasn't like, oh, that that's an ugly bitch coming down the aisle. So we used to like. Just... We looked nasty and we smelled nasty. That's the thing is people don't. But we did, but they didn't. These probably... crotches were probably so horrible. I mean, imagine how Gross horny you had to be and... back then to and be you like. shave your pubes. <gasps> and you... you had crabs and you pubic can... lice. I mean, and if you get syphilis, you're dead. Dead. It's I mean, you got gonorrhea. It's over. Your dick will fall off. But I really don't think that they knew they smelled because they were so. It's like one of those. Well, that's where a separate question. Did they or did they not? Because they loved the smell of flowers and they still had perfumes. So they. So they did have things where they were like, "This smells better," and rich people would put perfume on. Sure. So we didn't have deodorant, but like most people knew that smells like pig. Shit. And the Romans would that would be an insult. Like you smell like animal. Shit. 
at, like you think it's all hot so, when you think the Roman era, but really it's smoke. Yeah, everything. Like shit. So, I mean, they didn't. Yeah, the sewer like, system. Like, what was it? It was just running water with shit going down the side of the road. Like people would just empty into the streets, and then it would wash down. So I mean, honestly, you should be uh, very thankful that you're in the generation you're that you're thank- in. Thankful that you have indoor plumbing. Think- you need to be more thankful. Thankful that homophobia still exists. So let's worry about the gays, and let's not worry about. <laughs> let's worry about abortion and the gays, and focus on what's important. Uh, I mean, really, yeah. we are really. <laughs> It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. There's no way around it. Like we are in a time where 40 to 50% of people are really, really fucked up and it's not us. Period. We're going to be looking for dicks in Austin. So if you have a nice dick, let us <sighs> throw it our way. Throw it our way. We'll be on sixth street all week. Is that where we're going? Austin? No, sixth street. I- can I just say I can't say that word? I can't either. Six, because of my six. gay lisp and everything else. I can't. But six. <laughs> six. Six. Three. Because the uh, the sex. Six. Yeah, it's like a little. I can't do S X T H. Sexta. Sixth. Sexta. I will say that. I'll be like the sixth of March. No, it bothers me. Like it bothers. I can't I, do March sixth. Do you know? I'll I be like say March sixth. Well. Why? I don't like the Griffith part. Like I go Bobby Griffith. Like, I like, kind of like, sometimes will mess up, I'm nervous, I'll go Bobby Griffith. Like, it's not, it doesn't sound right to me. Bobby Griffith. But I'll be like, Bobby It does Griffith. sound gay. Right, it's Bobby Griffith. I'm Bobby Griffith. Which, thank you, and you know what, my preschool teacher was right. This is how I'm going to end this episode. Your preschool teacher was right. She was right. She predicted that one day I would be in front of the cameras. She predicted the bold and the beautiful. Little did she know she that I'm on fat and femmes. And... I made it, babe. I made it, Miss Kumbaya Chandler Crumley or Crumley. Had a, a Chandler Crumley Delusha Tucker. Stop. Tuck. I'm done. I'm done. Tuck. <gasps> Bose. What was my name? Tuck. She was a f- bitch too. No offense, Miss Tuck. She's probably dead. That's the thing about our teachers. They're dead. They're dead. Just like the lady on Titanic. I was watching tonight. I was like, she's dead. And so is the one. You know, a lot of those people were dead. Not on the Titanic, on the movie. <laughs> it's like on the movie. That, like, yeah, the I think lady, they're dead. I like, think the old lady is like been dead for like. It's like oh, the old lady in the movie. Yeah, like it's been almost that I've never seen all the way through. It's almost been nineteen ninety something. Thirty years. Wait, oh seven, seventeen. Yeah, so it's gonna be like thirty oh my years. God, it's been twenty five years. So these people like That's who were old. Up. The, so the people were like in their sixties in the in the movie. Dead. Twenty five years Bates later, still alive. Kathy Master Bates. Ooh, that sounds like a really good drag name. You're right. Kathy Master Bates. Come That's to the stage. Be. Kathy Master Bates. Come to the stage. Oh. You're trying. <sighs> Hi, and that's been another episode of Not Well. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you like our YouTube debut. I don't know. A little bit of this. A little, little bit, bit of this, this. A little bit of that. If you were at the party tonight, you know what this means. And it's not <laughs> what you think. Thank you. See you next week. Have a great week. Bye bye. Bye. Da 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 da. So fat. We both do. I, I was leaning back like I was doing this at some point. Same. I was doing this. I literally covered my stomach like this with my hand. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not. Can, blankets. So we should get funny. blankets. Can we please? Yeah. We'll just like hold blankets over. Like, no, that'll be our it's thing. Kind of and, like to be our old fat ladies. blankets. Yeah, like old ladies with our fat. Wait, this sell. blanket is to cover up our fat. We could sell fat blankets. Fat blankets. And they're just like personal blankets. You carry this blanket around in your book bag your or your purse. And that's you would get it out. Jobs. It's not the podcast. It's, it's the fat, fat blanket. Everyone wants a fat blanket. Everybody wants a fat blanket. <gasps> Someone has one at work right now. Fat blankets are at work. They I saw her work. typing her notes yep. and she had a little quilt over her stomach.